So he left. That's okay. what I'm saying. That Joe Gans had left. I thought you were saying he was like done playing, Cody and so left. it was between Patrick Witt and that group. Okay, all I'm saying is Patrick Witt did not practice in 2009. He did. So the spring. He started spring and got hurt. Okay, we'll see. We'll, we'll look it up on the internet machine. You we'll gotta look it up on the internet machine. <laughs> I'm talking to a coach who was there. You know I don't follow anything else. I, I understand this. what you're saying, but I'm talking to a coach who was at practice every day. Okay. I, I think there's... Internet, some... internet, what people are reporting. I'm talking to a guy who was there. No, I can find a newspaper article right now from February of 2009 where Patrick Witt says, I'm staying but not going out for spring ball. And he went out. He went out. He said that. I remember he said that. And then that's when Bolden said, no, let's come out and compete. You have a good chance. And he went out. And then after spring ball was over with... That's when both said, no, the competition's still over. That's when Dad said, wait a minute. We need to know something whether he's going to be a starting quarterback or not, because if he's not, then we want to be able to move on. Mm -hmm. And that's when both said, well, I can't, you, I can't make that decision now. And that's when he transferred. Trust me on this. I just think that conversation took place before spring practice started. No, it did. No, it took. You're right that he said he wasn't going to go out. He's going to stay in role, but he wasn't going to go out. And that's when both said, no, come on out, compete. Right now, you, you're our best guy, compete. And then during spring, stuff started happening to where it looked like, wait a minute. And then that's when that's after both said, well, that's when one reporter said, so who's your starting quarterback? He said, I, quarterback competition still open until the fall. We're not going to sign until a week before the first game. Mm -hmm. And that's when Patrick with dad came here, flew to Lincoln, had a meeting both said, you need to let us know if Patrick was going to be the guy. Mm -hmm. and, and when both said, I, I can't make a decision. I'm not going to make it until the fall. That's when he said, well, we'll transfer. And where did he transfer to? Harvard or Yale. Yale. Yeah. That's when he, tra he transferred to Yale in the summer. We'll, we'll look it up. I, he just I still stand by what I think. Because what he, I, what cause, I, cause if I, I could be wrong. Because he just so finished up his time? eligibility this year. And the head coach got fired at Yale because he's fo he forced the kid to play instead of going to take his, what, Rose Scholars test? Now oh, the interview thing? Yes, well, it's, it's an interview test. Yeah, that's and, what the Andre Roll did. Yeah, the, he the, didn't get to go to that interview? No, the coach said that he's like, you don't need to go there. It's more important that you. They, mm -hmm. they, I guess they were playing for the Ivy League championship. Yeah. And the coach encouraged him not like to go. Saturday morning. Yeah. Well, well, Andre Rowe, he was did about to let him go do the deal, and they flew had a private jet oh, yeah, fly him to Clemson because who did they play against? Clemson. Oh, uh, was it? They played against Clemson that night. I remember that story. Yeah, he went there and had a, and had a key turnover in the game to help him win. Yeah. He's a beast. But I promise you, Patrick went, went through spring ball, and that was out the spring when they said, I can't. I don't know. Okay, I just remember it differently. Whoop, whoop. All right. Let's go. <laughs> yeah.